Hi, I'm Phil with the Office for Mac Team. Headers and footers can make any document look more professional and easier to read. Let's look at some of the more common ways you can create and format these useful document elements. First, point to the top or bottom of any page. And when the pointer changes to this icon, double click. Now you're in header and footer mode. Once you're in this mode, you can type information directly into the header and footer. Or, here on the insert menu, try out some of the auto text entries. I like to use this one because it inserts my name, the page number, and the date. Once you've got the text you want, you can use the formatting palette to format it in the same way that you do any other text. Now, click Close, and you'll see that the header now appears on every page. But what if you wanted this information to appear as a footer instead? First, you need to delete the header. You just double click, select the text, and so you don't have to retype the information for the footer, click Edit, then Cut. Then scroll down. Click in the footer area, and then click Edit, Paste, and close the footer. Now the information appears only in the footer. So those are the basics and will work for most documents, but let's delete this footer and use some of the pre-formatted headers and footers to create something that looks a little more professional. Here in the Elements Gallery, click Header, and for the Odd Pages, let's add this header. And as you can see, it appears aligned to the right for all of the Odd Pages. Now, let's add a matching left-aligned header for the Even Pages. Okay, this looks good, but let's assume that you don't want a header at all on the first page, because, well, it's your cover page. So, all you need to do is, here on the formatting palette, in the header and footer panel, select the Different First Page option. And Word removes the header from the first page. Now, to finish up, let's add a footer to all of the pages. Since you indicated that you want a different first page, to make sure that your footer doesn't appear on the first page, click anywhere in another page in the document. And now, under Document Elements, Click Footer, choose All Pages, and let's go with this style. You can type any text you want, but let's use this option in the Header and Footer panel to insert the page number. Then, under Alignment and Spacing, center the page number so that it looks a little better. And that's it. In a few simple steps, you can add good-looking headers and footers to set off any document and make it easier to read. Want to learn more? Click here for help or visit us at the Office for Mac website.